Hey guys, in today's video, I have a forestry mulcher coming. It's here guys, it's here. Because one thing I'm realizing is that I can't do it all. As you know, for the past five months, I've been trying to reestablish this old horse fence so that way I can energize it and use it. How awesome would it be if I could actually drive in here and then this is gonna go to our creek and along our creek all the way up the property. And it definitely is overgrown. This tree fell on the fence right here. I need to cut this down. I think this used to be a logging road. And so we're gonna be clearing this section off. So that way we could be able to take a, a vehicle in here all along the property line. Now we're on the side of the property here. You see this barbed wire? So we're coming from the barn and we're coming this way. And then turning and going up on our property into so it reaches the top. So that way we can drive in here and then come back out this way, kind of like a loop. So far I've done 300 feet of fence line and I'm just doing it by hand. And the more we're here and working the land, the more I realize is that we're gonna have to hire help. I have a forestry mulcher guy coming out. And he says, I could do your entire horse fence line that I've been trying to do. And also my whole property line. He could clear it out in one day. By the way, thanks guys, you had some good ideas of what to do with my pigs, because they're picky. Some of you guys are just throw the feet away. You know, it's too late to take it back because I opened up all the bags already. Hold on. I have soaked this feet overnight. That still doesn't seem to work. Yesterday, I didn't feed them at all because they had a bunch of feed from the previous day that they did not eat. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna give them extra feed. Let's see what they do. Honestly, they seem like they're eating it. Look at that. This is the most I've ever seen them eat that feed. You know, I think they're just really hungry. And if they're really hungry, they'll eventually eat it. They're tearing up all these roots is what I want. It's like cereal to them. I wish I had milk for you. Uh-oh, there we go. Here we go. You know, I was wondering at what point do they start tearing up this chicken coop here. And this is that point, our next move is we need to move this out and get them off of this coop. And then I still have that other portable actual pig shelter. I guess I knew that would happen. I just didn't know when. The benefits of getting up early, the sunrise. We're gonna come down here this way. This is where I want them to come in and make a path that goes all the way around the property. And these are the blades right here? Yeah, these are the knives. Oh, and right that, there, okay. yeah. And these, these, what is this? This is just... So this pretty much prevents you from getting too much of a bite. Like if you go up to a tree, mm -hmm. the tree will start to rub here and it'll only let it get kind of one inch of a bite so it don't jar and stop the head. Oh, if these weren't here and you hit a tree right here, yeah. you'd be trying to, I mean, you'd hit a tree with four inches versus this pretty much just rips. While this thing spins around, mm -hmm. it's ripping one inch chips out of trees. Wow. And as you see the, the, the gap difference yep. compared to here, the tree will kind of only let it go up to here. And then this knife comes in and knocks out this much from a tree, just a one inch chip. Okay. Is this moved up and down too? This stays. Okay. Typically what I do with it, when I when we go up to bigger trees, we kind of go up to the top of the tree. Yeah. 
and run into the top with just this, the top will fall out. And sometimes the top will try to fall back to you. That's when this comes in handy. You can push the tree the other way. Then we'll run down the tree, but when we're mowing stuff across the ground, smaller stuff, yeah. I'll drop this thing flush to the ground and, and let this push the trees while it's cutting like the box so they lay down. I'm, I'm excited and I'm not even the one driving the thing. <laughs> I had a there was a pile that we had put right here from everything that we had done and he just he just demolished it right now and I could actually probably drive my car in here. some of this stuff would grow back I got a mower like a zero turn you could come in here this summer uh -huh. raise the deck up mm -hmm. and just come through here and just mow right along the edge of the fence two passes whatever because I don't even see stumps no I mean you have some, sometimes if I can't get the head okay you see how it's kind of in a dip yeah sometimes if you can't get the head down to it it'll do that but for the most part I mean, they run they run flush to the ground yeah that's good and I'll run, when I come back, I'll run over stuff if I see anything. That mulch really does throw the mulch out, so I'm trying not to get too close. I don't want to get hit by just the mulch. There's that tree that fell down.
on the other side of this horse fence, this is still my property. The property continues on way over there. What do you think? This is amazing to watch. <laughs> like, I know. This guy is really good. It's very satisfying. It is. And yeah. like, I think I have a new jogging trail. Oh man. A new jogging trail that's covered in wood chips. Yeah. And we have a cleared fence line. Oh man. And we have wood chips. This is like the best thing that we ever did this year <laughs> so far. So it's been about an hour and a half and we're at the top of our property here. This is the very tippy top and then you still have to do on that side and then do the fence line around uh, the fence border around the property line. This side is not not too bad. It's mainly just a lot of those thorny bushes, but he's still going through it. He's going through it a couple of times. He's gonna go back down where he just came up and then continue like grinding what he missed or or grind it further down. And then also the property line on that side, so that way eventually, if I wanted to put a fence line, I could do that. See, there's a post there. Okay. There's a couple more posts up there, but it looks like the property line's over there. Right. I was just following the fence because there's some wire in there. I don't know if you've heard slapping here and there. I did see that. It's wire getting wrapped up in the drum. Oh, really? Uh, what happens if that happens? If you catch a lot, it'll lock the drum up. Oh, man. Oh, we couldn't get in here. There's a bunch of big rocks in there. Can't get the machine in there. Coming in like almost like doing a double grind where he goes through one pass and then he's doing it again you know like this right here he's gonna get that on the second pass some of this stuff that's down in the, the stumps that he didn't get on the first time which is cool uh, he's really grinding it all down so hopefully he doesn't come back or if I want to maintain it all you gotta do is you know, get my, my mower in here and just run through it. He exposed an old fence line here. I had never seen this before. Most of uh, this side of that horse fence, he cleared out this whole area. Look at this. This was all overgrown, full of trees, uh, brambles, and he cleared this whole area. And now he's headed back down. He's following the property line back down. Uh, and then he's gonna eventually come out and spit out where he started. We got wood chips, look at this. Wood chips, guys. I finally have all the wood chips. Uh, let's just go straight down. I 
this thing. This thing's like stuck. Override. So now he's in the forest here, our woods. And he's gonna do this along the creek and the, the fence line. Was this pretty hard, difficult for you? Yeah, uh, going up to there was a little, yeah. it was a little frustrating. Uh, that tree's the only one that you would even have to cut. This one in the middle? Yes, but I've, okay. I've got it to where if you wanted to, you could go around it. Yeah. That's how I had to do it. There was a couple of trees that had fallen in here. Yeah. And that's why it's so open. Okay. All right, so now he's gonna go on this other side of the fence. He's gonna come back and he's gonna do on this side of the horse fence and go all the way around. This time last year, I didn't, I didn't even know of what that was. I didn't know of a forestry mulcher and the possibilities. It's one of those things you don't know what you don't know. Like what is what? What can an excavator do? What can a bobcat do? What is a forestry mulcher? For somebody like me, who didn't grow up around this stuff, who grew up in the city, I don't know this stuff, right? Like, how are you supposed to know, like, what can do what? Unless it's word of mouth, somebody says a comment in our videos, says, hey, you should rent a forestry mulcher. Well, let me look that up, and wow. That took six hours. What would have taken me probably the entire year, maybe two years to do, he did it in six hours, the entire property. So now I'm here with the girls, Dorian and Penelope, and we're just uh, showing them what he did. And I walked it with him, and I cannot believe he did all this. I mean, it's not as much like, there's wood chips, but it's not like in a pile or anything. So it's just kind of like covering the, the ground. I mean, there's still gonna be cleanup. There's still gonna be a lot of work for me to do. But the good thing is, at least there's like a pathway. The barn's down there, and then this pathway, I mean, we could take a small vehicle up here. Uh, and then this part, it branches off and it goes to our creek up the mountain here. He went in here a couple passes, so like from there, all the way over here here's where the property line is right there and you just kind of just follow that a little bit think it's um, worth it yes worth every penny um i i think it feels like we have a new property now like i don't almost even recognize these woods um like we were going back here in these woods to tag the certain trees and now that i'm back here again i'm like this i i don't even recognize these little trails that he made but i'm excited because these trails could be like hiking trails and like jogging trails for us i think it's, it's so cool this is where it branches off you got that goes to our creek and that just continues on i mean looking at these trails now i mean i feel like we need some kind of uh all-terrain vehicle side by side something that we could drive in here because last summer it was all overgrown and we couldn't even walk back here. But, I mean, this is so easy now. There's a there's a pathway and a trail, a cleared pathway and a trail to get to this creek and we can maybe come play back here in the water. Yeah. Look at this, guys. This is on our property. Just a nice watering hole here. Creek goes that way. And then we're here to the end of this line, old fence line that goes all the way up. And he just followed that with the mulcher and just came all the way down. This was a down tree. It just grinded it up, man. You know, the more we're on this property, the more we realize that we're gonna have to hire people like that. We're gonna have to hire help because we're just, we're just us. And we don't have the big machinery or even the skills to do this. Like even if I rented something like that myself, there is no way I could have done all of this in six hours. Just because I wasn't familiar with the with the mulcher. You know, this guy's been doing it for a few years. So he knows. And he's fast. 
Yeah, the other fence line has just grown into the tree. It used to go here, and there's a hole here, so it looks like it came out. But they cut it. <laughs> we started at the barn, and now we're at the top. And we just kind of, that's, that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, something that, almost like a loop, where we just kind of go up, and then we could kind of go back down on this side of the fence. These little trees, we got to knock down certain bramble bushes you know we gotta tighten this wire up i think i'm kind of glad that we spent the whole year of not doing this you know just to kind of see it for an entire year and see how it looks and see if we do wanted to keep this fence you know you kind of sit on it and then maybe do some things by hand until you get tired of doing that and then <laughs> And then you're like realizing, hey, I can't do this by myself. You know, with just hand tools, like we need to hire something. And then you do, and then it's worth it. Cause I should not have to hire somebody like that to do this fence line ever again, hopefully, you know, we just still have to maintain it and stuff like that. But we're not done yet. Check on the pigs, see if they ate their food. Did you eat your food? It looks like it, yeah. Good job, high five. They're not devouring it like the other feeds still, but at least they're eating it. And now it's dinner time. Even though I didn't run the machine, I feel like I've done all the work today. <laughs> Running up and down our mountain trying to film. But look at this beefy boy steaks from our beefy boy guys let's try that it's very tender mm -hmm. it's good um, and we cut this piece ourselves we, yeah when we pieced piece. out i couldn't tell you if this is actual steak or what what it is it's a steak <laughs> <laughs> it's meat yeah it's meat and it's in the shape of a steak <laughs> it's a win-win yeah